a Carnegie Institution for Science audio press release for September 6, 2011. Uh, jumping genes preferred targets may influence genome evolution. Along with just about every other plant and animal, the human genome contains transposons, or jumping genes, that can move from place to place on the chromosomes within a cell. Half of human DNA is comprised of active transposon elements, or the damaged and immobile remains of transposons that were active thousands to millions of years ago. Interestingly, every time a plant, animal, or human cell prepares to divide, the chromosome regions richest in transposon-derived sequences, even elements long deceased, are among the last to duplicate. Why this is so has eluded biologists for more than 50 years. New research led by Carnegie's Alan Spradling provides potential insight into these enigmas. The original goal of the Spradling team's research was not to understand how transposons spread or genomes evolve, but something much simpler. To learn why a type of transposons called P elements insert at some locations in the genome, but not in others. The scientists used the fruit fly Drosophila melanogaster, one of the premier model organisms for studying genome structure and gene function. They focused on the P element because it has an unsurpassed ability to move that has stimulated its widespread use by Drosophila researchers. P elements have only been present in Drosophila melanogaster for about 80 years when they were acquired from the genome of a distantly related fruit fly species by an unknown process. P elements remain highly infective today. Adding just one copy to the genome of one fly causes all the flies in a laboratory population with which it breeds to acquire 30 to 50 P elements within a few generations. Spradling and his colleagues used a database containing more than 50,000 genomic sites where P elements have inserted. They built this exceptional database over the past 20 years. P elements insert into DNA very selectively. Nearly 40% of new jumps occur within just 300 genes and always near the beginning of the gene. But the genes seemed to have nothing in common. When these sites were compared to data about the Drosophila genome, the answer became clear. What many P insertion sites share in common is an ability to function as starting sites or origins for DNA duplication. This association between P elements and the machinery of genome duplication suggested that they can coordinate their movement with DNA replication. Spradling and his team proposed that P elements, and likely other transposons as well, use a replication connection to spread more rapidly through genomes. These elements would only transpose after replicating and then preferentially insert themselves into portions of DNA that have not yet become activated. This would allow them to duplicate twice rather than just once during the genome duplication cycle. If the elements get a late start, however, only the last segments of the chromosome to duplicate will be left for their second duplication. This explains the tendency of such regions to be transposon rich. However, the researchers found that some Drosophila transposons did not insert at replication origins, so this mechanism is far from universal. Furthermore, Spradling cautioned that it is particularly difficult to experimentally test hypotheses about evolution. Gaining insight into one specific transposon's movements may help to glimpse mechanisms that have profoundly influenced genome evolution for nearly all animals. The Carnegie Institution has had over 100 years of extraordinary discoveries. To continue this tradition, Carnegie scientists need your support. For more information about this and other cool science, visit our website at carnegiescience.edu. This is John Strom.